Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today, by popular demand, I'm going to be reacting for the first time to Floor Jansen. And by far, the song that you've requested the most is Ghost Love Score. Now, I wouldn't really consider myself a huge metal fan or a metal head, although I just simply love good music. So, Give me any genre and give me great music from that genre and I will love it. And in particular, I love good singing. Like I love, love, love good singing. And you guys tell me that Floor Jansen is one of the best. So I'm so excited to hear her. This is going to be taken from the Nightwish tour in Latin America in 2012. Let's get to it. Woo! Lots of energy there. Before we even hear Floor sing, uh, I just have to say I love it when I hear bands using more complex time signatures. So they're switching between essentially, I hear a 7-8, I thought I heard a 5-8 in there. They're mixing up when you have a subdivision of three or two underneath the beat. So you have like one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two three one two one two three one two one two one two three. These kinds of um, they're putting twos and threes together, essentially, in some more complex ways than you normally hear in any sort of mainstream music. So I find that really cool and very intriguing. So you can really tell right there, they went from this like much more complicated time signature to the just, um, it's a standard 4-4 four, four that they've gone into now that has just a more predictable, almost like headbanging beat. Has a much more pure sound than I was expecting. I was thinking that she'd have like more grit or more belting happening. It definitely sounds like her voice has the ability to really put a lot more power out because um, she's singing on like more of an area or head tone space right now. And every now and then she gives a little edge where you hear the chords connect just a little bit stronger and have some more focus. So I imagine that we're going to hear some more belting out of her. But my initial uh, initial reaction to her voice is, well, this is a really pretty sound to hear within metal. Also, for sure, she has some classical training. She's sustaining higher pitches than most people without classical training would sustain. And she's keeping them very carefully um, minimal on the vibrato, but still relax enough that every now and then they do have a little bit of vibrato.
her her voice has got so many possibilities in it that I'm hearing. I I am 100% sure that she's got some amazing training behind her. She has so much control and especially so much breath control. She's able to keep things so centered and pure and ethereal yet cut through this sound as well. It's really a, a wonderful sound and very unexpected. Huh. it almost felt like I was at a, a classical house concert. She has really beautiful diction and vowels. I, I love that. But she also has so much expression in the sound. It and it it just it almost sounded like this combination of classical and metal. And I I just love it. I'm a sucker for crossing genres. I love, love, love that. I loved how intimate it was there for a bit, and I'm looking forward to seeing where the song goes. Ah, gotta love it when the audience sings. I think it's over because this video is longer. Huh. A oh, nice choir in the background there. It's almost like there's an interlude. Obviously, it's about to ramp back up, but I, I love this. This is like a mini opera scene or like an act. It's it definitely has. It's got some really cool dramatics. I love that they just left the stage like that, but it had this serene moment, but it still had the music in the background that was evolving and changing. And now, um, not only do you have like some hard rock instruments that are starting on stage. But you also have in the background this, uh, it, it's an entire orchestra that's playing as well. It's a really cool mashup of those genres. Huh. 
love the way she just slid off that note. Uh, can I catch that again? I want to catch that again. Uh, she did this. She's so expressive and she's blending styles so well. I love the way this is. Uh, she's like on the edge of a belt. She's definitely using um, more. She's combining, I think, both mixed voice and chest voice in some places here. And uh, and she's able to do that while not sounding too heavy. She's really moving her voice pretty quickly. But here at the end, she does this like really cool slide off, like more vulnerable moment. <laughs> Nice belt up there. Oh, uh, did you hear that side? Oh, that's good. That's really good. It's very expressive. Whoa. Oh, so much intensity. We've got like a little bit of growl happening in there at one point. Wow. Uh, whoa. She like, she really, she sounds, um, she sounds like she's demanding something. And, uh, and I haven't followed all the lyrics to this point because I've just been listening to their sound so much. I wish I'd been listening more to like what this storyline is because it's unveiling like this incredible scene. Uh, I love the power and intensity that she just brought. Okay, I'm sure she's about to sing again before she does. I just want to talk about how much I love her style and how she acts on stage. I She's so open. This is a perfect spot to freeze. Uh, I love how she's smiling and involving the audience. I love her hair. Uh, also, uh, these like chains and her outfit. She's got like a cape. I love capes. Um, this woman has so much style and she's so originally herself having pulled, I feel like, from so many different dimensions. Very, very, ah, just um, a very intriguing person, just someone I want to know a lot more about. That was like, tell me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that like super like Carmina Burana? I totally heard Carmina Burana, but with a little bit of metal mixed in. Love it. Ah. 
good. Okay, uh, I should have stopped somewhere in the middle of that last bit, but the build was just, it was so intense that I couldn't find a good moment in there to stop and talk about something because I felt like if I did that, that I would really miss something. And uh, I'm sorry, that was a big chunk for me to not stop and, and give you some verbal reaction, but guys, wow. Ah. Uh. That was so satisfying. Woo! Woo! Um, she had so much breath control in this last bit. Really tons. She's singing really long phrases uh, and she's weaving in and out of head voice and she's going into her chest voice in places and mixing it in other places. And on top of that, she belted really high in the middle of that. She belted all the way up to a G sharp A flat. Um, that's above the treble clef, and it was a belt. And it was such a clean sound. I didn't, it didn't sound like she was straining. It just sounded open and free with a lot of focus. It was really, really well produced. Great technique on that belt. Uh, if it's okay with you, I want to go back and listen to that last um, big vocal snippet of her singing again. It was so good. I think it started around here. Oh, Hot, good timing, huh? in her element right now. Every time she's singing these long phrases, she prepares them like somebody who's done a lot of classical singing. You can tell she doesn't breathe with her shoulders up here. She's taking a really low breath which means she's going to control that phrase much better. And she's singing all the way until the end of the phrase. She's taking your energy along with her all the way until the last moment. It's much longer phrases than you normally hear on the radio. And I love that she's also singing the vowel. She's elongating like one or two vowels a lot of times instead of trying to fit in a lot of words. I, uh, I adore what she's doing here. That's control. Listen to this. She's right there. She sings this really high note in her head voice. She's holding it in this ethereal way. And then she flips into a belt right after it. That's beautiful control. So there's a head voice right there. Ah, and a 
the bell and a really cool choice of notes too. Ah, that's great. Ah. <laughs> heard for Jansen before today. Like this woman, this diva creature, she's so amazing. She's crossing genres in a way that I love and using fantastic technique to do it. It's really incredible. Also, thank you guys. Shame on me for not having heard her before, but thank you for recommending her. You guys are awesome. You have really good recommendations. I, I guess I didn't know her because I don't listen to tons of metal, but I do love bands like Tool, and she reminds me of Evanescence. So, I mean, I don't know, but wow, she's awesome, and I'm going to be listening to a lot more metal now. <laughs> so, keep those recommendations coming. Also, please, someone tell me more about this story in the comments, and I'll pen it so the viewers can learn a little bit more. I didn't follow those words as much as I was just follow, following the sounds in the music. So I'd love for somebody else to explain those in the comments below. And thank you once again for joining me today. I am here every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. in a live chat during premieres. So come and say hi to me. I'd love to meet you. Hope to see you soon.